Hello, this is Atsushi. I am happy that many people would like to learn how to do sashiko beautifully and efficiently. Here are the top 5 sashiko tips to make your sashiko experience more enjoyable. Tip 1. Get sashiko thread. You may use any kinds of thread for the sashiko project. However, if you like to get the same result as we do, then using this thread design for the sashiko purpose is necessary. I had written several articles about the difference of sashiko thread and the other threads on our website, upcyclestitches.com. The main difference is the twist. The sashiko thread has the unique twist to be the part of the fabric. The main purpose of sashiko thread isn't connecting a few pieces of the fabric together. It is to make the fabric strong. Tip 2. Sashiko needle. A good quality sashiko needle can improve the sashiko stitching by a lot. My recommendation is a the length of 51.5 mm and b the small eye to avoid destroying the fabric, yet big eye enough to accommodate the sashiko thread. Trust me, it is significant and a good needle will reduce the stress. Third tips. Pull the fabric, not the needle. After making many stitches, you may experience the difficulty to pull the needle through the fabric with the thread. It is understandable because the sashiko thread we use is pretty thick and the needle eye is quite small. Here's a tip. Do not pull the needle. Yes, it sounds strange. You will pull the needle eventually. However, first, try to pull the fabric to get the needle eye through the, as the video shows. This is one of the reasons I made this video on top of the actual blog post on my website. I hope you get what I'm talking about by watching how I do it. The tip for the movement of smoothing the fabric. In my sashiko workshop, I always tell them to smooth the fabric. I came to realize that I'm not 100% sure if I translated the word of that from Japanese to English. Since I cannot find the exact word for that, I will use the Japanese for this movement. It is called itokoki. Itokoki is the movement of smoothing the fabric to avoid the tension fabric like the video shows. It will make your fabric more smooth and beautiful. Alright, tip 5. Unshin. In my opinion, sashiko is not about making a one stitch. Sashiko is about moving the needle and as the result, making the numbers of stitches. To follow what the Japanese used to practice, understanding and learning the needle movement is important. In Japanese, we call the needle movement unshin. We do unshin and make numbers of stitches, then make sure the fabric is smooth by doing itokoki. We repeat that process and create the simple yet beautiful patterns. I hope you can take a look at this video and this is the basic movement of rep repeating the sashiko. Alright, let's review. Getting good sashiko thread and needle is pretty critical to have the good sashiko th stitching. As I have shared in another video on this channel, the fabric quality is not as significant as the thread and needle. Of course, I prefer the fabric made in Japan following the traditional way. However, a piece of the swatch from Walmart for a couple of bucks was okay for the sashiko stitching. When the budget is limited, I would allocate more resources for the thread and needle. The video is for the third and fourth tips in the list. In order to explain what itokoki and how to pull the fabric, I thought it is the best to film myself. Interestingly, sashiko is so natural to me and my mother, so sometimes we do not realize that something we do very naturally is the answer to someone who studies sashiko stitching. In fact,
The Japanese have an interesting craftsmanship that the master does not teach how to do the crafting. The student, pupils, or apprentices are supposed to learn by just looking and observing what the master does. So I didn't get a structured lesson or workshop. What I do is something I learn by doing and looking, and therefore sometimes I do not realize what I do is special to someone. So feel free to ask the questions. Your questions may teach me what the actual audience is looking for as the answer. However, please check this channel and at our website, our website upcyclestitches.com first, to look for the answers. I have been answering many questions and the common questions are probably answered already. Well, I will improve my website so viewers can find the answers more easily, but let me have more time for that. Alright, enjoy Sashiko!